Today we are going to look at very common issue and that's when FortiGate is offline or cannot reach to the NTP server for very long time and its time goes out of sync. You will see a red bar on the top of the GUI indicating that FortiGate time is out of sync. I reproduced this issue on my home lab and I'm going to show you how to fix it in a few steps. This is Hussein and welcome to my channel. So as I discussed earlier, you can see on the top of the bar, there is a 40 gate time is out of sync notification. This usually happens when 40 gate is offline for a very long time or it cannot reach NTP server. So the first step would be to check the settings. To check the setting of 40 gates, we have to go to system and then settings. Then in system time section, we can see the current system time and the time zone configured. You can change the time zone according to your living location. And in this case, I have set NTP to FortiGuard servers. Make sure FortiGate can reach to NTP servers. The first way to check this is to verify if there is any internet connectivity. As you can see, I am executing a ping toward 888, which is Google DNS servers. Then I will verify if the name resolution is working to make sure my DNS configs are correct. As you can see, it is working correctly. Then the next step would be to use a manual NTP server address using CLI. In a few steps, I can show you how to configure NTP for a custom NTP server address. This is useful if you are having your own NTP server in your organization and you are not allowed to use public NTP servers. I will open the CLI and type config system NTP, then set NTP sync enable and set the type to custom. Therefore, I can configure a server for my need. Then under this setting, I will configure NTP server IP address by going to config NTP server, then edit one, set server time.google.com. You can specify if give you a name, alternatively an IP address as well. So for the second one, I'm going to add an IP address, which in this case is 219.239.35.4. And then I will end section configuration. As you can see, the settings are there, but FortiGate is not able to sync the time with Google. So we will move out to the next step. The next step would be a simple logout. Sometimes this works, but there is no guarantee for that. Even with applying this, it is not working. Next would be to change the source interface. By default, FortiGate can find its local out traffic interface, which is used for a FortiGate itself traffic, like DNS resolution, like NTP and so on. In this case, I'm going to change it to my WAN1 interface, which is connected directly to my internet modem. Note that you can also use SD-WAN interface to choose the best interface with least problems or healthiest interface to connect to NTP server. In my case, this did not help me. The next step would be to reboot the FortiGate. Of course, if you are in a production environment, this is not recommended. If you do reboot your FortiGate, you will have a service interruption. In my 
my case, this step did not help me out. So when you are out of option, the last would be to configure everything manually. I did configure it manually and as you can see, the error is gone. Next, I will show you some CLI commands. With execute date, you can see the current configured date. With execute time, you can see the time. As you can see, I am reproducing the same error and as it shows, it has never synced with NTP server. And if I run diagnose sys NTP status, it shows almost nothing. With get system NTP, you can see effective system setting for NTP. With show full system NTP, you can see the current configured commands on CLI for NTP. I will run diagnosis NTP status again after solving my issue, which was internet connectivity. And as you can see, FortiGate can successfully connect to NTP server and we have some sessions. After resolving issue, if you execute time again, you can see FortiGate has successfully synced time with NTP server. If none of previously methods has worked for you, there might be an issue with NTP process on your firewall. So you can run diagnose sys process speed of NTPD. It shows the process number of NTPD on your firewall. Alternatively, you can use the second command to show all the processes and then you can look for NTPD. If the process is not running, you may require to reboot your FortiGate to initiate the process again. And if it is not working anymore, you need to contact the support team for this. Thank you so much. I wish you great time. Bye bye.